Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video we'll continue with our Porto 3 course and probably this is the last video where I'm going to show you how to use Porto 3 with the AWS IAM, right? Identity and Access Management. So yeah, I'm on my terminal and the first thing we do normally is import Porto 3, right? And then create a client. So in this video, we're going to do things like create a user, uh, create a login profile, like giving it a password, right? When you create a user, you actually have to give it a password to log in if you are going to give it console access. And then we are also going to create uh, access keys, right? That's another thing. And then next thing what we are going to do is create a user, uh, sorry, not user, create a role, uh, attach policy to a role and user both. And then we are going to probably create an instance profile and attach that instance, attach basically role to an instance profile. Because, and then you, I mean, because you remember when we were doing AWS CLI, you actually attach an instance profile to an instance, right? You don't attach a role. So then you can attach that instance profile to any EC2 instance. So that's all what we're going to see, right? So first thing, let's create a client. So we'll call it client equal Boto3 dot client and it will be an IAM client, right? And we have created client and if you just do a dir on client, you'll see a bunch of methods are available to you, all right? Let me clear the screen. <coughs> so first thing, we're going to create a user. So client dot create user. And if I just do this, you see that it requires a username, right? All right. So let's give it that username and I'll call my user Andy, right? And user is created. So we have done the first thing, we have created the user. Now what we are going to do is we are going to attach a policy to this user, right? So for that, I would actually need a policy ARN. So let me quickly fetch that policy ARN, okay? Okay, so I had the policy ARN in a different file, so I've just copied it. So now let's do client dot attach. And if I just do a tab, you would see you have attach group policy, role policy, and user policy. So I'm going to do user policy. And if I just provide no arguments, it will tell me what it requires. It requires a username and the policy aren't, right? Okay, so let's give it username would be Andy and policy on would be this. So I'm giving it power user access, okay? And you can see status code 200. That means your operation was successful, all right? So let me clear the screen. Now, I mean, we have created the user, we have attached the policy, but we have not yet uh, set the password, right? So let's do that. So we're going to do client dot, I think it's uh, create, uh, let's just double tap and see what all we have create. Login profile, yeah, create login profile. And I think this requires username, let me just, Username and password. So yeah, the password which I want to set. Yeah, right. So let's give that. Username would be Andy. And password would be admin123 XYZ. Okay. I think it should be compliant. Let's just hit enter. And password reset required. So I think it succeeded. Yeah. So we have set the code because yeah, HTTP code is 200. So yes, we we have set the password. Now, if you want to generate uh, access keys, right? So let's see how we do that. So client dot create. Uh, let me so yeah 
the first option you see create access key so create access key and I think this requires why oh I think by default it creates for the current user sorry so I don't want to do that okay so what we're going to do is I think we're going to give it a username so let's give it user name and we'll create keys for user Andy let's hit enter and you can see username Andy access key is this secret key is this so I'm not hiding these because I'll be deleting everything just after I finish this video right so yeah so we have seen we have created user attached a policy we have created password and we have created secret keys as well right so that's first part of our video is done now let's move on to the second part which is role so let's quickly create a role and the operations are very similar to the user create client dot create role and this is going to need a role name and I'll call this name as Jesse Jesse yeah and it also requires so if you remember from our AWS CLI lesson we actually have to provide an assume role policy right do you remember that so we have to provide this here so in order to do that what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to import JSON right and I'll create a variable called assume underscore policy right and I'll set it to JSON dot terms and I've copied the JSON file the assume role policy you remember it's the same trust policy right So yeah, I've stored this JSON in a variable. So if I do assume underscore policy, so you have, you can see I have stored the policy which is required by assume role policy document. So now we can go back and create a role. So I'll just go back and create role Jesse and we'll give the assume role policy document and we'll set it equal to assume policy variable name right so now if I hit create role our role is created great so next what we are going to do is we are going to attach a policy uh, to yeah policy to the role like we did right so again let me just grab an ARN of a policy so I have it in a different files so I'm just copying it from there you can do the list of policies and you can get the ARN from there, right? You can do that. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so now client dot attach role policy. And this will again require two parameters, I believe. Role name would be Jesse and policy ARN be equal to this right and we have successfully attached the policy to the role next is I'm going to create an instance profile and then we'll attach the role to instance profile right that would be probably the last thing Okay, so now we are going to create instance profile. So client dot create instance profile and this requires an instance profile name. So let's just give it a name and I will call this production or just prod, right? Our instance profile is created and now probably the last thing is to attach the role to instance profile. Right, so let's do that client dot add role to instance profile. Yes, and this will require two parameters. If you will see, it requires an instance profile name and the role name. 
It's very similar to what we were doing with AWS CLI, right? It was requiring an instance profile name and the role name. Let me clear the screen. And we're going to give role name as Jesse and was instance profile name. And that was prod, right? And status code 200, it has created our instance profile. Now, when you try to do, uh, I mean, when you try to run an EC2 instance, you can use this instance profile. You remember when we were trying to launch an EC2 instance using Boto3, we at our AWS CLI, we attached the instance profile by passing the instance profile flag, right? In the same way, when you are doing the thing with Boto3, you can pass the instance profile name and you can pass this name when you're trying to run EC2 instance. So this role, Jesse, would be attached to that particular EC2 instance. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's the end of our series on Boto3. I hope you liked it, all the three, four videos, whatever we did. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you like the videos. Please do subscribe to the channel before leaving. And thank you for watching.